Before I get started, I would like to just make an announcement and kind of set the pattern as far as how we're going to move forward. There will be absolutely no questions, no answers as relate to the apprehension nor the particular facts surrounding the incident. Thanks to everyone for being here on today. A special thanks to Kevin Marshall's brave mother, Ms. Robin Marshall, for being here with us on today. We would like to also thank all of the citizens who provided anonymous tips, various concerns as it related to this crime. I would like to thank law enforcement locally and abroad and especially the U.S. Marshal for the outstanding work and performance in the apprehension of suspect Joshua Anderson. Mr. Mar Ms. Marshall, you and your family have our condolence, the Office of Sheriff, and the entire community. Wrap our arms around you in these difficult times. As stated earlier, law enforcement has done and will continue to do everything within our power to ensure that this perpetrator is brought to justice. Now we call upon the community to become one and unite and allow law enforcement to allow the will of justice to operate. Newton County is not a lawless community. We are a law-abiding community and we will continue to be so. The Surrenders Act took place on July the 4th at about 1642 hour on North Lake Drive, Covington, Georgia, where suspect Joshua Anderson overrun Kevin Marshall after a physical altercation. Kevin was a special need individual who had touched many lives in Newton County. We will continue to work with the prosecutor's office as we bring forth charges and proceedings in this matter. Suspect Anderson was arrested earlier this date out of state in upstate New York and he will be brought to Newton County to face the charges that has been placed against him at this particular time for the horrendous act that was carried out by Mr. Anderson. Good afternoon. I'm District Attorney Layla Zahn. Uh, I am here today just to support the family, um, to support Kevin, and I'm not going to comment on the evidence in this case as that would be improper. The defendant is presumed innocent in the court of law until he's proven guilty. But our Kevin was a valuable and beloved member of this community, and he will get justice in this case. The district attorney's office has ensured Ms. Marshall that we will do all within our power to hold the person responsible who committed this horrific, heinous, inhuman, wantonly vile, evil crime on July 4th. And to the fullest extent of the law, he will be prosecuted, or she, and that person will be held accountable. And justice will occur here in Newton County for Kevin and for his family. Thank you. Today, I am here to address to the public about the dark cloud that follows the senseless and heinous doings of a man who held so much hatred within himself that it resulted in the death of my son. But I am also here to continue to spread the love and the light that Kevin shared with countless others through the selfless acts, radiant smile, and warm godly spirit he bestowed upon many. Kevin wasn't just a young man who lost his life. He lived a life of purpose, sowing seeds that continue to be 
harvest in the lives of others. So it's imperative, I repeat, it is imperative that justice be served to Joshua and all parties involved to the highest extent for taking my son's life. I would like to start a foundation in the memory of my son, Kevin, for special needs citizens. And I want to thank the county of Newton for bringing him in. There is enough violence in this world. In this country, we've got to learn to love more so that we can be stronger to fight the evilness that tries to inflict our children. I will not rest until Joshua Anderson and all his accessory parties are punished for what they've done to my son. Thank you so much, Sheriff Brown, and everybody that's going to ensure that is done.